Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 11th through the 17th of June, 2023. I hope all of you are doing very well. I am gonna take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Taurus out there, so take what resonates for you and simply leave the rest for someone else. Remember the energies can reverse or flip-flop. It's not unusual in a general reading. As always, Taurus, don't try to push yourself into a reading that is not designed for you. Let's get started, guys. Spirit, can I have the energy of a sign of Taurus? have to say, Taurus, I'm picking up on some kind of aggressive energy. I don't know where that's coming from, but that's what I'm feeling. Um, you're starting out with the Two of Wands, and you have the Tower. Okay, so something big is happening here, and the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Okay, yeah, so there's something big happening here. I feel like there's there's an ending that's happening or it, um, it, it uh, has already happened. I do feel as if there was a choice in, in a direction. You're being left now with a choice as far as what direction to go. You're trying to make decisions, but you're in the middle of this um, upheaval. There's a, a sense of just all kinds of chaos that's going on right now. I do feel that it's it's uh, related to an ending and it's putting you at a fork in the road. Let's look at the person in your energy. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I was feeling some kind of aggressiveness um, in the energy. I wasn't expecting a tower. All right, so the person in your energy has eight of coins, the lovers, and the four of coins in the reverse. Okay, so the person in your energy, they may have met somebody at work. There's something to do with, um, with their work, their job, and I'm also seeing um, that there's a relationship or desire could have been a work romance that has happened here. Four of Cups is in the reverse. So this person is feeling very unstable right now. So they're as destabilized by this ending as you are. Um, they could be working on their money right now because they've had some financial losses. But I feel like there's um, there's something here they're, they're trying to release, they're trying to let go. And it has to do with this connection. So let's see the energy between the two of you. Show me the energy between these two. Yeah, the moon in reverse. So something's been revealed. Something has come out. This is what has put you, some kind of a secret has come out. And this is what's put you at this crossroads. You're trying to decide, what do I do? What direction do I go? What's going to be the best for me? Um, time might be relevant to this. And I feel like your person here is spending a lot of time at work right now. Let's see the what's affecting the connection. Tell me what's affecting the connection. You could be involved with a cancer sign. You don't have to be. Uh, I'm also seeing Gemini here. So what's affecting the connection is the page of coins. Yeah, somebody um, somebody went looking. There, This is a card of study, of trying to figure something out. And so I do feel that somebody went looking for something. They were trying to figure something out, gain the wisdom. Again, I'm seeing that clock. That time is is relevant in this. Yeah, somebody somebody was trying to figure out. They were looking, 
and that's what's affecting the connection. Could have also been a communication of some sort, but I feel like it's been spied, it's been seen. Um, let's see the outcome at the end of the week. Show me the outcome at the end of the week. There could be some communication that goes back and forth between the two of you. Mm. Yeah, there's something deceptive here, Taurus, and it's not on your side, it's, it's on their side. Yeah, so this connection is ending here because of deception, some some kind of lie. I feel like you may have felt something was going on. You may have gone looking for it, but there's lying, cheating, some kind of sneakiness associated with this person, and that's what's brought about this end and a tower moment for you. Yeah, the truth is coming out. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Now, like I said, you could be dealing with a water sign. That would be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But um, in truth, what I'm seeing here is that you're sharply pulling your affections, your emotions back. Yeah, it's uh, this person could have ghosted you as well. There's definitely something that's time-related. I'm seeing it all over on your side. not Not on theirs, but on your side. And I feel like uh, I feel like you've sharply pulled your feelings and emotions back. Let's let's clarify. Why is the Two of Wands here for Taurus? Why is the Two of Wands here? Yeah, there's a truth a truth about a love affair that's come out. Um, some of you feel this person is a soulmate, but. And some of you may have a choice because um, <laughs> you're you're making a choice too. Some of you may have somebody else in mind already, and you may you may go ahead and and let this person know. Look, I I know what you did. I know what's happened here, but I don't even care because I have someone else. That's for some of you. I do feel like you're going to speak your mind though. Once you've made up your mind and you're, you've made a decision here, um, some of you, like I said, you have a choice in love. But once you've made up, you made your decision, I do feel you're going to speak your truth. Why is the tower moment here? Why is the tower moment here? All right, we have the nine of wands reversed. There's that two of wands. So, you know what, Taurus? Some of you have, this person may be trying to come back into your life. Because I'm seeing um, with the five of cups in the reverse, they may be trying to renew this, this relationship. With the two of wands here twice, you may have a choice between someone new and, and this person here from the past. You are going to make a choice here, and it's going to cause a tower moment all the way around for everybody. I, I see you you looking at this offer from this person to reunite, and I see you not trusting them. There's a lack of trust, and it has to do with the treachery from the past. But somebody's wanting to come in from out of the cold, and you don't trust them. And you are going to be making this decision about which direction you want to go. But when you do, I see them, I see that this person, are you looking at uh, this person very distrustfully? And it's going to cause a tower moment. All right, we have the emperor in reverse. And we have the six of coins. Yeah. So you may feel this situation was out of control, that this person you're dealing with was over controlling. Everything had to be their way. They wanted to control everything, but at the same time, breadcrumb you. And so there, that's why this ending is here. I feel like this person may have even ghosted you. This is somebody who, you know, feels like it's their way or the highway. They always want everything their way, but they, they only give a little bit. They breadcrumb. And for some of you, this person was giving their attention to more than one person. 
there's definitely some sort of treachery in their energy. And I feel like this person is trying to come back in. They're reaching out to you and you're going to let them know, look, and some of you, you could just be choosing yourself over this person, but you, you have the option. You're going to make a choice and it's going to be a tower moment. So let's look at their energy. Why is the eight of coins here? Four of Wands. For some of you, this you're married to this person. And the Ten of... Uh, yeah, they want to solve the problems here. They want to work, th work things out, solve the problems. This is what they're telling you. You may have... You may tell them a thing or two about themselves. Um, this person is showing up as being in, involved, not single. They want to work out the problems. Page of Cups. Uh-oh. And the Five of Cups. They're looking back at the past. This person may have had a third party connection. It could have been with somebody that they worked with. And they're looking at the past. They're, they're reviewing it. They're going over it. They do still have feelings for this person is what I'm seeing. But they're offering a new beginning to you. They could also be offering a new beginning to that other person. They have a choice as well. So this person went out. They deceitfully set up, set this up. You're, you're being upfront and honest. You're saying, look, this is done between the two of us. You're very controlling. You know, you breadcrumbed me. You, you cheated on me. You lied to me. Whatever they did. And now you have a choice. And you're, you're going to be the one to make the choice. Why is the four of coins in reverse? Yeah, there's conflict here. And the conflict is leading to this person releasing the connection and letting go. They, um, This person has been unfaithful. King of Pentacles in the reverse is unstable. It's, a, it's another very controlling energy. It's unstable. They're not faithful. They're not loyal. And so this that's caused conflict here. So this person is feeling that they have no choice but to let go or you're releasing them. That could very well be it. This, during this conflict, you, you may tell them, look, I'm done here. All right, why is the moon in reverse? All right, seven of coins. Why is the moon in reverse? Page of swords. They're looking to see what you're going to do. Yeah, this person is, they're trying to figure out what is Taurus going to do with this situation. You're kind of narrowing down your options. You're getting very clear about what it is that you do want to do. You know you want love in your life, but you have a choice here between either two people or, you know, just going on your own and, and leaving this person. You're going to reveal that, but the choice is yours. So you're getting very clear on what exactly you do want. This person's trying to figure it out. They might kind of like approach you immaturely, trying to get you to tell them what you're going to do. Um, also to tell you that, that it can be worked out. The two of you can be very happy. They're going to work on the connection. Ace of Swords reversed. Yeah, they don't know what you're going to do. They're... <laughs> they're waiting to see. Um, and what I'm seeing here is that you've been studying this situation pretty closely and you are going to make a decision, but your decision is going to be to walk away because you don't trust this person. Mm -mm. Yeah, I do feel like there's someone here that this person is looking at that was third party energy they were involved with. They have feelings for and they're not speaking to at this current time. They lack clarity as to what is going to take place between you and them. And they're trying to figure that out desperately. Let's see your outcome. This is somebody who um, their energy is coming across as being a bit depressed. But very controlling. Like everything must be their way. What did that card do? I'm sorry, Taurus, hold on a second. 
we got a disappearing card for some reason. <laughs> that is so weird. Like, where is it? It, it went on the floor. Ah, flew all the way across the room. Okay, hold on just a second. All right, we have the two of pentacles. We have the queen of wands in the reverse. And the card that went across the room is temperance in reverse. So you have fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Sagittarius is very strong actually. Could be another earth sign like yourself. Um, so it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I also feel like in any conflict, this person blames you for the conflict. <laughs> so I I have to say that the way this person behaves, the way they it's like they project their feelings and their what they've done onto you. And I feel like you've been seeing this for a while and you're kind of fed up with it. You're starting to see this person more clearly. Now, at the end of the week, what I am seeing is that you may not be taking action on, on everything as far as um, healing or, or, you know, doing anything with this person. I do feel that you, you are done here, though. I feel like um, you're done. It's causing a tower moment. It's leaving you a bit unbalanced. And, and a part of it is, Taurus, that this person is wanting to, you know, come back into this connection again. But I don't see them putting the work into it. You're both feeling a bit unbalanced. But like I said, they have treachery. They have the Seven of Swords in their energy. But it feel like they try to project stuff off on you, even though they know that they have done wrong. They've been disloyal here. They are going to tell you that they're no longer juggling. They're no longer, you know, in any kind of a third party energy. That they're not speaking to that person. That they're not, um, you know, they're not in, con in contact with that person. But... It's not entirely true. That part could be true, but it's not entirely true because just because they're not taking action doesn't mean that's not where their focus is. Yeah. So I do see that. They're, they're being still very deceptive, rather deceptive, but I feel like you see through this. You're, you're not trying to heal this connection. You're done here. You kind of see through all of the lies, all of the, the deceptions, and you're ready to make a choice about what you like, want your life to be. Like I said, some of you have someone else. Um, others of you are choosing to go on your own. Bottom of the deck is the magician in reverse. Yeah, somebody is manipulating. They're withholding affection, manipulating through withholding affection, and I believe it is this person. It's a very controlling thing to do. But I'm not worried about you um, too much here, Taurus, because it seems to me like you see through this person. All right, let's get a Oracle card for you. Okay, we have Storm Fields. Now, it did come up in the reverse, so Storm Fields. This too shall pass. Now, when it's reversed, it's, it's talking about now is not the time to engage in any activity that brings unwanted chaos or drama into your life. This kind of storm can be destructive and you'll regret your actions later. Hurtful words will be carried on the wind and bring a tornado of betrayal, anger, and unnecessary angst. Find shelter. This turbulent weather will pass and your house will be untouched. Say no to drama. Wait till the storm blows over, and only then will you be heard. Wow, that's why you're not going to be taking action. Yeah, you know that this person's unbalanced. This is leaving you feeling unbalanced. And so I feel like you're kind of uh, not going to take action right now because you don't want any unnecessary drama. That makes a lot of sense. All right, Taurus, I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have resonated with this reading, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would be grateful if you did. 
Until I see you guys in your next weekly reading, namaste.